What is Cheater the Internet? I'm Cheater in Season 99, and today I am going to present you part 8 of my blind let's play on Sonic Forces for the Nintendo Switch. Last time we went, uh, we experienced Mystic Jungle for the first time and went through the Luminous Forest, um, finding out that it wasn't really that much of an important stage, rather it was actually uh, just another random stage that Ed Man decided to take over. But we came and chimed again and saved the game and prevented um, World War III from happening there. And uh, we also ran into Silver, who was apparently fighting our new enemy, Infinite. And we took over his little shift there and took that man down, like Donkey Kong. But with that said, it is now time to move on. We're going to be heading back to Green Hill to go through Green Hill as Class Sonic. And so we're going to. Why? You couldn't be of another game for Class Sonic Station Green Hill. I don't know. But frankly, I don't really care. I do have a few things that I want to talk about before we actually get into this. So, feel free to skip ahead to whatever um, time of video that starts the gameplay, which I'm going to show at the bottom of the screen. But I would highly recommend stay tuned and listen to what I have to say. Otherwise, you're probably going to be confused on the rest of this Let's Play of how it's going to go because that's what I'm about to talk about. So, apparently this game, um, like, it splits itself, like it divides itself very differently like compared to um, how the other Sonic games played out. It plays differently because the stages are completely out of order. We're going literally all over the place, completely out of order. We're not really just going world per world. We're actually going around the world at random spots at random times and then heading backwards. It's something I'm not really used to. Like, for example, Sonic Colors did that, Unleash did that, O6 did something like that. But then again, there was a lot more involvement when it came to O6 before you had to go into a stage. And the stages were long, so that's why each episode was split um, per stage because of um, how organizing I am. And I feel like that was uh, the perfect way to like split each video um, for the LP. You should really go check that bad LP right now. I also did a video, I did a playthrough of the, um, not really a playthrough, a showcase of the very hard mode and shrinking every single level with every single character. I, I always leave that in the description, in the description below of this playthrough because it's one of the latest things I've done so I would highly recommend go checking that out but back to what I was saying that is how I split um, each episode out with OSINS because it, it worked perfectly and in another game this one because of the different stories then that's how it seems long but really honestly it's not really that long of a game but yeah, I mean, you are going uh, through the same stages of it, but with different characters. But as for this game, the there's a reason why the stages are short. Because I have overheard from a Shane 16 that there's 31 stages in this game. And I'm currently dividing each episode per stage so far. Minus the bosses that I include in the episodes where the stages, uh, where the bosses come right after the stage that I'm doing in the episode. I always include the boss in that episode. So, yeah, this LP is gonna take a pretty long time, considering um, that I'm gonna be splitting each video per stage, but I'm actually not gonna be doing that anymore because that is going to take a really long time. Plus, the filler that I include to make the episode just a bit longer because the stage was so short. I thought that, but because it's not really like flowing as 
like like the same way the other games were, like world per world, uh, as how I would split each video in like another Sonic game. That's probably not. I don't know how many do Sonic Adventure though. I'll probably do like two stages per episode. I don't know. But as for this game. I am going to be splitting, from now on, I'm going to be splitting each episode with every boss I encounter. So that way we can get this thing going a lot quicker. I know this is a long ramble, but hear me out, it's very important because this is how the rest of this is going to play out. So the names of the episodes are going to be like, let's say for example, 10 through 15, since Stages 1 through 5 were all the stages that we had to do before facing up against Zavok, and then 6 through 9 were all we had to do before going against Infinite, then that's how, like, the rest of the checkpoints, per se, are going to play out for the rest of the game. Like, let's say, um, let's say there's another boss, and that, that's where we're going to end off. Y'all you, you, get what I'm saying. The bosses are going to act as our end to the episode because that will mark like the end of our um, um, little session. I'm going to call it session because there's like, we're literally going, like I said, we're literally just going all over the place with no order. So there's no like little sections that we go for each time. So I'm just going to call it a session from now on. So, there's not going to be a lot of more episodes of Forces Left since I'm not going to be splitting each episode with each stage. So, I'm assuming since, um, stages 1 through 5 were all we had to go for before fighting Zavok, because Zavok was stage 5. I'm assuming we're going to have a boss on stage 15, and that is where we're going to end off the episode. But, I'm going to try my best to not make the episode too long and not ramble too much and I'm only gonna go through this stage one time so think of it as like a little um like beneficial for me for the stages that should be short since we'll be getting to the game uh the episode a lot quicker but I'm still not pleased with how lengthy the stages are and I'm actually kind of ready to get this thing done because what I've experienced off screen when getting the moon coins for stage 8, the platforming in this game is garbage. It's the way the characters control. They control so stiffly, and I don't like it. It's very wacky. Like, they're so freaking stiff. It's the complete opposite of how Sonic 06 would control. Like, only Sonic, because Shadow and Silver played like gods, because they were perfect. But, as for the characters, ah, oh, it's not the moves or something, you know what, screw that, I'll get it later. As for the characters that you play as in this game, they are so stiff and it pisses me off. It ruins the platforming so much. And, one other thing I do want to point out about the gameplay Whenever you're playing as either Sonic or the OC, whenever you start holding forward, for example, like that, what I'm just doing, they build up speed just like that. There's no effort, like how you have to put in effort in colors, unleashed. Lost World included that run button, so it got a bit sync with that. But you know how those games where you actually have to build up speed and speed was that reward? But no. No, you go like full throttle with the with the run button. Not, not the run button, but with the stick when you're going forward, you'll full throttle it in a matter of seconds. There's no effort to building up speed, and I freaking hate that. But I probably spoiled some of my opinions about this game, but I still have a lot to say. So just be on the lookout for me to um, say more of my opinions about forces once we get to the very end and reach the end credits. I'm assuming we have everything said out of the way. So I'm thinking that you have skipped all of that ramble because you guys just 
don't have a um, full attention span. Like, I'm only assuming that. I, I shouldn't really assume because that'd be mean. But if you have watched the ramble all the way through, thank you so much. We are now back to heading to Green Hill and Green Hill and... Wait, what? Well, I mean this world Sonic and Edman's Monster Garden. Oh, he's talking about that actual Sonic, the modern Sonic. He failed him and made him get captured because Tails is uh, so... He's so naive. That's why we have Classic Sonic. Not just for fan service, we need it because Modern Sonic get ca gets, got captured and tells them that he is no worry capable of freeing himself like he's done in the past. Really? Or, if you know what, I'm just gonna go back to my point to work. They include Classic Sonic because they wanted to make um, us believe that this is actually a sequel, but it isn't. And since this is an anniversary game, why not include Clash of Sonic just in a room the tradition of, you know, man. If we defeat Eggman, this war will be over. Well, duh. If we can figure out the secret to his power, maybe we can get you home. Okay. So Edmund went back to Green Hill, I see. What are they doing there? Oh yeah, because he's never... So we took out his weapons factory mission. The plot is all over the place. I'm getting strongly confused. But, I mean, it didn't have as many um, um, plot holes as um, uh, 06. In fact, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm... I've seen a few, not, no, not plot holes, but the, the plot is just all over the place. Like, first we're here, and all of a sudden we're there, and now we're back here. It's just, stop throwing stuff at me. Give me some deep meaning on what we're doing. Like, it, it's, everything is just happening so quickly. I, stop. Man, I, I really hate to say it, but once I finish this game, I'm ready to tear it apart because what I what I have experienced in Luminous Forest when trying to go back to get the collectibles, which serve no purpose but 100%, same purpose as the outfits which don't do anything. I I'm ready to tear this thing apart. I'm after what I experienced there. I'm uh, and at, at least I figured out um, a better way to control class design with the D-pad. It's actually very useful because it's very clunky when you're controlling it with the joystick. Like, you try to spin dash. He stops on a dime, so that kind of helps, but it still pisses me off. But, whenever you're controlling it with, whenever you try to, like, hold down to start spin dashing, sadly it's not as broken as your arrangements, which I... Hoping they would bring they would bring that back, but no, they give him the drop dash. But I just realized that when I went back to Ghost Town. So um, I know this one. I'm so sorry. I'd like to say I was preparing for this moment when I like everything's going to start changing. But whenever you use the joystick, it's kind of hard to hold him in motion when you start to spin dash. He just starts moving everywhere. It's just, it really bugs me. So. I would highly recommend controlling Clash of Sonic with the D-pad when you're trying to get ready to spin dash. So, yeah. There's also another problem to where if you try to spin dash, like, start mashing the B button, it'll start, like, he'll get out of that position and start jumping everywhere. It's... They didn't have that broken spin dash in Generation 3, yes, but Clash of Sonic control so much better. So... That's the problem I have with Classic Sonic in this game. I just do not like the way the characters control in this game. But I guess I can't really bash on the game forever. I'm gonna stay positive uh, for the rest of this game. I do plan to because otherwise I'm not gonna have a fun time. Even though it's the game's fault for making me have a terrible time. 
Cause there ain't nothing gonna steal my joy. Without a shy, it's time finally, my friends. After 15 minutes of ramble, it's time to get into Green Hill in Green Hill. Let's go, friend. How long is this going to stay? to be maybe two minutes and 30 seconds. I I'm going to just think of an ominous number. Why are you start giving me the music before you start presenting the stage? That's weird. Well, here we are. What the? What the heck? Why are you so slow? You realize how stupid these characters are? I'm sorry, Tills, but I'm... I don't like... Uh, I don't like this. Those low bugs look new. And all these robots look new. Even the egg pods. Everything just looks great because of those big robots. Okay, but here we are, though. Uh-huh. Oh, there's the same parts. And there's the red now after some precarious platforming that I thought I'd never make for the first time. And we got a checkpoint. No blue sphere stations that those who are relevant because we're not playing the better game. No! I die! No! I shouldn't worry about that because there's no lives in this game. Why am I whining over something that isn't really as punishing as people make it out to be? I mean, really? No lives! It's those Sonic Boom elements you start bringing into the game. That's why it's so bad. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to stay positive, but this game has brought me to tears. Feel free to dislike the video. I do not care. So I'm guessing, uh, Tails is just gonna follow wherever Classic Sonic goes, and Modern Sonic is just gonna stick with the old shoe. Okay. Good to know. No. See what I mean? Like, I start getting into position and then... Why are you slow down? I freak... That bothers me so much. This is Sonic we're dealing with here. And when he starts spin dashing, he just starts slowing down. Like, he don't get a care in the... What? Why? And the place starts breaking! Am I doing something wrong? This is nothing like... Me... This man is so slow. Oh, I like that fish bump though. That's gonna be, uh, of course, me and Sonic. Every time I start playing forces, he starts playing forces. He wants to get more hours than me. I see how it is. Ah, fudge you. Can I get back up there, please? Can I, can I, I please have a double jump? Please. Okay, you want to know something that I have thought of? Remember when games used to reward you a lot? Actually reward you, not just give you a postcard at the end of your long journey to find 999 moons and go on a giant coin ring to find, to, to buy all, why are you slow down? You're supposed to fast, stop slowing down, you idiot! And then you're awarding a postcard, just a freaking postcard. Do you, have I ever played Sonic Colors DS? That little masterpiece? Oh, yeah, I got it. Thanks for my spin dash. Can I try that drop? No, not a good idea. We are platforming here. Oh, well, excuse me for not noticing that spring earlier. Ah, wait. Why are you slowing down? Oh my, oh my god! I know I'm overreacting because that is how pissed I am. They, why? I'm holding the stick forward. He is not supposed to slow down. Give me that rip. You saw this shit. I'm sorry, guys. I thought this game was going to be... Well, I just realized I'm not going to be in my S rank today. The class time was to be a douche. Oh, well, screw you too, mother sucker. You giant banana wide. Why? I did not let go of the down. What? See what I'm talking about? I want to play with Mario Sonic again. I, I shouldn't be saying that because I don't like how Mario Sonic plays. I don't like how any of these characters play. 
That is why I'm the Mythosian Escape early, because I've had it. I've actually had it. There we go. I knew we were close to the end. That took us 4 minutes and 26 seconds. HOW THE HELL?! WHAT?! Why the hell is it so easy to get an S rank? An S rank! You should be more, like, Rewarding for getting an S rank because the S rank is the definitive, you know, the the most rewarding rank you can get. Better than an A. No, it's an S rank. This is an S rank we're talking about here. These are supposed to be the toughest ranks to get in a Sonic game. I thought Generation was as easy, but nope. Sonic Force came along and ruined my. God, give me difficulty. I'm done. I'm actually really mad right now. I have clear space change. Give me. No, please don't have crazy luck. I want to play that game right now, please. No, I'm, I'm not. I, no, no, not Mario Crazy Deluxe. I want to play some arms, man. I, I know I'm insulting people, but no, no I'm insulting the game so much. Y'all probably just. Y'all are going all up with that dislike button, but. I've, I've had it. Y'all, do y'all feel my pain? Have y'all experienced this at all in, in this game? I should not be the... An SOS in Spaceport? What does that mean? I'm gonna check this out. Received an SOS from the Resistance. Hurry to the SOS stage. In red SOS missions, use the avatar that sent the signal to clear the stage. You can use your whispering too. In green SOS missions, use the avatar that sent the signal as a rental avatar to clear the stage. Okay. In blue SOS missions, use modern Sonic, classic Sonic, or an avatar to rescue the avatar that sent the signal. They are held somewhere on the. You can use modern and classic Sonic in in an open. Well. I guess they ain't gonna be getting their own stage, or as far as I'm concerned, I don't know, but honestly, that is something I don't really care about right now. I, just, I, I kinda just wanna blaze through the game and go through these different checkpoints. You know, since we already have a boss, and the video is already over 20 minutes long, but we might as well um, end off after the boss, and we'll probably gonna have like five stations until the next boss, so. Okay, now I'll get a short episode, which was supposed to be, I mean, it was, nah, I was gonna make it shorter, but I didn't know my rainbow was gonna be that long, but I had stuff to say, man. I, if I have something to say, I will say it. That is my motto, okay? All right, stage 11, versus Edna and Green Hill. Okay, so I got spoiled on this stage. Um, no, I mean, it was like in almost every trailer, the edge reduced from the back, so there's that. And with that, the disposal of the Phantom Ruby prototypes is complete. It was a defective model. It could only record the DNA of the one that triggered it. Only a being with my strength of will could ever activate it. It doesn't matter now, with the lab locked down in Mystic Jungle. Which reminds me, didn't you run into Sonic there after he escaped? Yes. He was powerless against me. There is no need for concern. You let the hedgehog live? That is a great source of concern. For you, perhaps. He has beaten you for decades, and I defeated him in our first encounter. It really Even though I won. And Sonic is alive? You should not be surprised, Tails. We move forward with the plan. Of course. But it's complete. The resistance will be erased. The world will be nothing but ashes from which a glorious Eggman Empire will rise. And the resistance will yield to the Phantom Ruby's power. All will be so easy for you. I remember the Phantom Ruby in Forces. What? The power was chaos control, wasn't it? <laughs> Oh, 
he not only stops me in time, but he gets me out clunky and weak. That's pretty, pretty deadly, man. All right, I'm buying the expansion now. So from now on, oh what? Oh well, this is familiar. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Lose. Uh, you're dead. Told you. I called it. There's the egg for doom. Well, poop. Well, nice little call back to unleash. I appreciate it. Ah! I'm not scared. Are you. Ah! Wait, where are those? Boom, boom. Why? Why are you bother shooting something at me that I can use to my advantage? Why do they do that? If they didn't do anything like that, he was just dodging me the whole time. So, I mean, I pretty much won, but I still failed. He was still alive, but... It was just like a pinch of salt that I laid on him. He is far from over. I love the character in there, don't get me wrong. He is powerful. Ah! Don't think so. Oh, I hear the smoke to the left. Why did I not do that? Oh, yeah, it's all over. Well, I ain't gonna be starting off with that time. Oh, no, sir. Yeah, plenty of like this. Yeah! Okay, why do I bounce back on that stupid thing and right there in front of me? Oh, I understand. Because failure leads to success. And I know your expectations are clearly high because they're high every time, but I still kick your butt. You have a sad life, that is, man. Oh, time to grab your face again. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just have to give him, like, when he's actually, like, in the angle of where I'm about to. I have to wait until he, like, moves to that spot. Okay. Well, that's a little bit difficult. Oh. Okay, I want to actually listen to what he's saying. Ah! So now I'm going to start, like, Listen to the Texans and start talking all over them because they talk about a lot of stuff in this game. And I shouldn't miss it if I want to know more about the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. This is a way better speedrunner boss than Zabok. If it was too, I just have to get better. Zabok was just. There was a certain like, time where you have to like actually take him out. So I'll read what you said when I rewatch this video on my own. Of course I got an answer. Thank yeah, you battle classic Sonic, you you won. You prevailed, like you always do. Classic Sonic when he gets the edge of doom. I just realized that. Classic Sonic when he gets the edge of doom. All by himself. Even though that was a way easier Ezra Doom boss fight than Sonic Unleashed. And in Generations. Asteroid! Where's the laser? Where's the laser wisp? Can you just give me my laser wisp? I realize you've uh, made the returning wisp from. Uh, covers the X10 badge. I appreciate that since that's one of the most relevant games that people need to know about those wisps. Because they're one of the best ones to use, in my opinion. Like the Burst Wisp. And then there's the Void Wisp comes back. And some of the, um, we get two from Lost World. One from Lost World, um, 3S, and one from Lost World Wii U. Nice! And it's the Cube Wisp. I really don't find them that useful. Yeah. They're still an afterthought. Oh, 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 oh. Look at you fighting like you've got a chance to win. It's adorable. Almost makes me feel bad that we're never going to do this little dance again. In just three short days, my plan will eliminate the bothersome lot of you. Wait, three days? And what plan? If I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise. You know what they say, the anticipation of the end is worse. 
hardest in the end himself. Maybe not in this case, though. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I really do like the story, but there's still throwing stuff at me. Not giving me any time for me to think of what's going on. Everything is just happening all at once. Park Avenue! It's time! So we're going to uh, continue on the next episode with Park Avenue. That's where we're going to start off. So hopefully I'll call Online Ramble because the rest of this LP is going to be um, not split into um, each stage. Just to recap for those who haven't listened, not each stage is going to be split into... Um, not each video is going to be split into a stage. Per stage, it's going to be split with, like, whenever the boss comes up. However many stages I have to play for to get to the boss. That is where we're going to split each video. Because these stages are so short, this video was long because of my ramble, so it's a good way to make the videos longer. I just got to, like, just include my ramble a bit. Because I do ramble a lot. And that's a habit that I got to, like, stop. So we did pretty good this episode. Um, I do not like Clash of Sun and the way he plays, why he goes so slow, but that was all behind us now. We did it. So we're just going to go ahead and um, end up this video right here so I can continue on because I actually want to continue this on um, after I see what these SOSs are about so that way I can explain them more thoroughly to you all with how I've experienced them. But for now, we're going to go ahead and get about. If you enjoyed, I forgot to do that in the beginning. If y'all enjoyed yourselves, please your boy solid. Just hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment what you thought. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And be sure to ring that bell to get notified of the next video in your Sonic Forces playlist. Stay tuned for more videos and watch this coming up as well. Stay positive and stay awesome, YouTube.